वेलकम टू अन अकाडमी लेट अस क्रैक गेट एंड इमई दिस इज के उमेश्वर राव दिस बैच इज सूपर टैलेंट बैच फॉर इंजीनियरिंग सैंसेस कंप्लीट मैथ्स विल बी कवर्ड बाय मई सेल्फ कंप्लीट टेक्निकल सब्जेक्ट्स बाय जे एस गिल Detailed coverage of gate XC syllabus, handwritten notes, extra practice tests, tests are curated by J S Gill and myself. Good afternoon, Abhishek. Myself, K Mameshwar, Faculty of Engineering Mathematics for Gate and E S C, educated at an academy. I have 21 plus years of teaching experience. I have guided more than one lakh students. An academy gate and ESC presents twenty percent off on all subscriptions. The offer is valid till July. Use code KUR seven five get subscription. An academy presents Padu Kelo Crack Karo. Learn with top educators from July 1st to July 30th. Special class series, concept-based learning for each subject. Take a quiz and check your preparation. Enroll now by using code KUR75. Get printed notes for your gate preparation available for existing plus and iconic subscribers. Mechanical Engineering, Civil Engineering, Electrical Engineering, Electronics and Communication Engineering, Computer Science and Information Technology. Use code KUR75. Attention an Academy Gate and ESC aspirants. Get the iconic subscription at just additional 555 rupees per month. benefits of iconic subscription one is to one live mentorship program and schedule your session as per your convenience progress report available to the mentor for tracking learner activity exam and preparation guidance the features of an academy subscriptions top educators doubt clearing sessions study notes and test series for both plus subscriptions and iconic subscribers physical notes and one is to one live mentorship program study and strategy program live audio interactions for only iconic subscribers an academy is announcing laksha batch for gate 2023 batch commences from july 21st use code kur75 An academy is announcing Prakriti batch for Gate 2024. Batch commences from July 21st. Use code KUR75. Either for plus subscription or iconic subscription, use code KUR75. Now, yesterday I have completed problems on limit continuity and differentiability uh, today would like to discuss mean value theorems rolles theorem if f of x is a real valued function if f of x is a real valued function defined on close in interval ab and f of x is
continuous on closed interval ap f of x is derivable on open interval ap f of a is equal to f of b then there exist at least one point c belongs to open interval ab such that c belongs to open interval ab such that f dash c equal to 0. The function is real valued function. Sahu, yeah, I am going to cover complete syllabus on engineering mathematics in this batch. It is useful for mechanical branch also. f dash c equal to 0. The function is a real valued function. Therefore, we can able to draw the graph on xy plane. The function is continuous on closed interval AB. The function is continuous on closed interval AB means graph is well connected between x equal to A and x equal to B. x axis y axis Function is continuous on closed interval AB. Function is continuous on closed interval AB means the graph is well connected between x equal to A and x equal to B. This is x equal to A, x equal to B. Graph is well connected between A and B. There is no point of discontinuities between x equal to A and x equal to B. The function is derivable on open interval AB. F function is derivable on open interval AB means from A plus 2 till B minus. From A plus 2 till B minus. On x axis, you have infinite number of points. At all these infinite number of points, our function is derivable. At all these infinite number of points, our function is derivable. So, derivative exists finitely. Derivative exists finitely means slope exists finitely. Slope of the curve exists finitely. Slope of the tangent exists finitely. You can able to draw the tangent line to the curve at all points from A plus 2 till B minus. If it is possible to draw the tangent line to the curve at every point from A plus 2 till B minus, there exists at least one point. There exists at least one point where tangent is parallel to x axis 
because at a plus slope is positive next point slope is positive function is increasing 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 at least at one point slope changes its sign from positive to negative therefore at least at one point tangent is parallel to x axis at that point slope of the curve is zero slope of the curve is zero since slope is zero therefore derivative of the function is zero derivative of the function zero that's why f dash x is zero at the point c understood therefore f dash c equal to zero next one lagrange's mean value theorem if f of x is a real valued function if f of x is a real valued function defined on closed interval ab and f of x is continuous on closed interval ab f of x is derivable on open interval ab if f of x is a real valued function defined on closed interval ab f of x is continuous on closed interval ab f of x is derivable on open interval ab then there exist at least one point then there exists at least one point c belongs to open interval ab such that f dash c equal to f of b minus f of a by b minus a f of x is a real valued function defined on closed interval ab and f of x is continuous on closed interval ab f of x is a derivable on open interval ab then there exist at least one point c belongs to open interval ab such that f dash c equal to f of b minus f of a by b minus a that is
the function is continuous on closure interval AB. The function is continuous on closure interval AB. Therefore, graph is well connected between x equal to A and x equal to B. The function is derivable on open interval AB. The function is derivable on open interval AB means from A plus 2 till B minus at all points a derivative of the function like this. If the function is continuous on closure interval AB, if the function is derivable on open interval AB, then at all points from A plus to B minus derivative of the function exists means slope exists slope of the curve exists, slope of the tangent exists. If slope of the tangent exists at all points from A plus to B minus, at least at one point, the tangent is parallel to line joining two points, line joining two points, A comma F of A and B comma F of B. The tangent is parallel to Line joining two points A comma F of A and B comma F of B. So here at the point C, the tangent is parallel to line joining two points. That is F dash C. F dash C means slope of the tangent. Slope of this tangent is parallel to line joining two points. Two slopes are equal. Two slopes are equal means geometrically they are parallel. So the conclusion of Lagrange's mean value theorem is if the function is continuous on closure interval AB, the function is derivable on open interval AB, then there exists at least one tangent which is parallel to line joining two points. The geometrical interpretation of Lagrange's mean value theorem is nothing but Tangent is parallel to line joining two points. Suppose in Lagrange's mean value theorem, if you consider f of a equal to f of b, automatically you are going to get Rolle's theorem. So Rolle's theorem is one case of Lagrange's mean value theorem. Rolle's theorem is one case of Lagrange's mean value theorem. That's why Lagrange's mean value theorem is known as mean value theorem or first mean value theorem. Cauchy's mean value theorem. Cauchy's mean value theorem is just extension of Lagrange's mean value theorem. Just extension of Lagrange's mean value theorem. In Lagrange's mean value theorem, we have one function. In Cauchy's mean value theorem, we have two functions. If f of x comma g of x are two real valued functions, two real valued functions defined on defined on
closer interval AB and F and G are continuous on closer interval AB F of X and G of X are derivable on open interval AB G dash X not equal to 0 for all X belongs to open interval AB then there exist at least one point C belongs to open interval AB such that F dash C by G dash C equal to F of B minus F of A by space problem I am writing on the next slide G dash X equal to 0 for all X belongs to open interval AB such that uh, then there exist at least one point C belongs to open interval AB such that F dash C by G dash C equal to F of B minus F of A by G of B minus G of A. F dash C by G dash C equal to F of B minus F of A by G of B minus G of A. Note. It is ratio of the slope of the tangents is equal to ratio of the slope of the lines. That means the geometrical interpretation of Lagrange's theorem and Cauchy's mean value theorem both are same. The geometrical interpretation of Lagrange's and Cauchy's mean value theorem are same. The geometrical interpretation of Lagrange's mean value theorem and Cauchy's mean value theorem are same. Next one, Taylor series expansion. If f of x is continuously differentiable, if f of x is 
continuously differentiable at a point x equal to a then if f of x is continuously differentiable at x equal to a then f of x f of x can be f of x can be expressed as f of x equal to f of a plus x minus a into f dash a plus x minus a whole square by 2 factorial into f double dash a plus x minus a whole cube by 3 factorial into f triple dash a plus and so on. Suppose if a is equal to 0, f of x equal to f of a plus x minus a into f dash a plus x minus a whole square by 2 factorial into f double dash a plus and so on. Suppose if a is equal to 0, then the series is known as Maclarian series. Taylor series at 0 is known as Maclarian series. f of x is equal to f of 0 plus x into f dash 0 plus x square by 2 factorial into f double dash 0 x cube by 3 factorial into f triple dash of 0 plus and so on is known as Maclarian series. which is known as Maclarian series. Based on Maclarian series only, we are going to write series expansions of e power x is 1 plus x plus x square by 2 factorial plus x cube by 3 factorial plus and so on. e power minus x is 1 minus x plus x square by 2 factorial minus x cube by 3 factorial plus and so on. Sin x can be written as x minus x cube by 3 factorial plus x power 5 by 5 factorial and so on. Cos x can be written as 1 minus x square by 2 factorial plus x power 4 by 4 factorial and so on. Log 1 plus x can be written as x minus x square by 2 x cube by 3 minus x power 4 by 4 and so on. Log 1 minus x expansion is minus x minus x square by 2 minus x cube by 3 minus x power 4 by 4 
and so on. All these expansions are derived based on Maclaurin series only. Now, problems on mean value theorems. Tarun, qualifying marks are only 25 to 30 marks out of 100 marks. It is not late because July, from July onwards, uh, you will get 6 months time for your preparation. You can cover monthly two subjects. Next, problems on mean value theorems. By applying Lagrange's mean value theorem for the function f of x equal to 1 plus x log 1 plus x on the interval 0, 1, the value of c is f of x is 1 plus x log 1 plus x. In the interval 0, 1, f dash x is 1 plus x into differentiation of log 1 plus x is 1 by 1 plus x plus log 1 plus x into 1. That is nothing but 1 plus log 1 plus x, which is finite for all x belongs to interval 0, 1 which is finite for all x belongs to interval 0, 1 f dash x is finite means the function is derivable the function is derivable and the function is continuous therefore both the conditions of Lagrange's mean value theorem are satisfied by the function therefore by Lagrange's mean value theorem f dash c equal to f of 1 minus f of 0 by 1 minus 0. f dash c is nothing but 1 plus log 1 plus c. f of 1. When you put x equal to 1, 2 log 2 minus f of 0, 1 log 1 by 1 minus 0. That is, 1 is equal to log 4. 2 log 2 is nothing but log 4 minus log 1 plus c. 1 is equal to log 4 by 1 plus c. Now, e is equal to 4 by 1 plus c e power 1 is equal to 4 by 1 plus c. 1 plus c equal to 4 by e. Therefore, the value of c is 4 by e minus 1. 4 minus e by e. The value of c is 4 minus e by e, which is belongs to 0, 1. The value of c is 4 minus e by e. Third option is correct. A curve C is defined as x equal to a cos q theta, y is equal to a sin q theta in the interval 0, comma pi by 2. What will be the point P on the curve C? where the tangent to the curve is parallel to the curd joining two points a comma 0 and 0 comma a. So let us assume x equal to a cos q theta is f. What 
y is equal to a sin q theta is g in the interval 0 comma pi by 2 in the interval 0 comma pi by 2 cos cube theta and sin cube theta are always continuous always derivable that's why i am implementing cauchy's min value theorem let us assume a cos cube theta is f a sin cube theta is g by cauchy's min value theorem f dash theta by f dash theta by g dash theta is equal to f of b minus i mean f of pi by 2 minus f of 0 by g of pi by 2 minus g of 0 differentiation of f with respect to theta a into 3 cos square theta into differentiation of cos theta is minus sin theta by a into 3 sin square theta into differentiation of sin theta is cos theta equal to f of pi by 2 a cos pi by 2 is 0 a cos 0 cos 0 is 1 that is a by g of pi by 2 a minus 0 after cancellation 3a 3a cancel cos theta cos theta cancel minus cos theta by sin theta equal to minus a by a cot theta equal to 1 therefore theta equal to pi by 4 therefore x is a cos q pi by 4 y is a sin q pi by 4 now x is 1 by root 2 whole q 1 by 2 root 2 y is 1 by 2 root 2 so a by 2 root 2 a by 2 root 2 is the point on which the tangent is parallel to line joining two points f dash x is 1 by 3 minus x square f of 0 equal to 1 then the lower bound and upper bound of f of 1 estimated by mean value theorem r it is a very interesting problem f dash x is provided f of x is not provided but f dash x is provided with the help of f dash x you can understand that whether the function is increasing or decreasing in the given interval now here f dash x is one by 3 minus x square f dash x is 1 by 3 minus x square now in the interval 0 comma 1 f dash 0 less than f dash c less than f dash of 1 because the function is increasing in the interval 0 comma 1 what is f dash 0 when you put 0 in the place of x 1 by 3 minus 0 1 by 3 less than f dash c less than because function is increasing in the interval 0 comma 1 therefore f dash of 0 is 1 by 3 less than f dash c less than f dash of 1 1 by 3 minus 1 that is 1 by 2 by mean value theorem 1 by 3 less than f dash c equal to f of 1 minus f of 0 by 
1 minus 0 less than 1 by 2, 1 by 3 less than f of 1 minus f of 0 less than 1 by 2. Since f of 0 is 1, because it is given in the data, given that f of 0 is 1, that's why 1 by 3 less than f of 1 minus 1 less than 1 by 2. Now, 1 plus 1 by 3 less than f of 1 less than 1 plus 1 by 2. 1.33 less than f of 1 less than 1.5. 1.33 less than f of 1 less than 1.5. So f of 1 is lies between 1.33 and 1.5. Next one f of 0 is 2, f dash x is 1 by, Abhishek, you calculate f dash x, already f dash x is provided, in the interval 0 comma 1, f dash x is positive, when f dash x is positive in the interval 0 comma 1, you can understand that function is increasing, same model, here f dash x is 1 by 5 minus x square, 1 by 5 minus x square is increasing in the interval 0 comma 1. You calculate slope. Even though you calculate f double dash x, that is also positive. f dash x is positive. f double dash x is also positive for all values of x in the interval 0 comma 1. Therefore, it is increasing. f dash x is 1 by 5 minus x square. Therefore, f dash of 0 less than, f dash c less than, f dash of 1. f dash of 0 is 1 by 5. f dash of 1 is 1 by 4. By Lagrange's mean value theorem, f dash c is nothing but f of b is f of 1 f of a, f of 0 by 1 minus 0 less than 1 by 4. That is 1 by 5 less than f of 1 minus f of 0 less than 1 by 4. Since f of 0 is 1, that is given in the data. Here f of 0 is not 1, f of 0 is 2 in this problem. Substitute to here, less than 1 by 4. Therefore, 2 plus 1 by 5 less than f of 1 less than 2 plus 1 by 4. 2.2 2 less than f of 1 less than 2.25. Therefore, f of 1 lies between 2.2 and 2.25. 2.2 and 2.25 is the correct answer. Observe the function. f of theta is sin theta. Sin theta is continuous for all values of theta. Cos theta is continuous. Tan theta is discontinuous at pi by 2, but our interval is not containing pi by 2. Therefore, in our interval, sin theta is continuous, cos theta is continuous, tan theta is continuous. Therefore, every constant function is continuous. Therefore, in the given interval, f of theta is continuous. f of theta is continuous for all theta belongs to pi by 6 comma pi by 3. Next, 
differentiation of sin theta is cos theta differentiation of cos theta is minus sin theta differentiation of tan theta is secant square theta so for all these functions whose derivatives gives finite values in the interval pi by 6 to pi by 3 therefore the function is derivable f of theta is derivable f of theta is derivable for all values of theta belongs to pi by 6 comma pi by 3 now function is continuous on closed interval pi by 6 comma pi by 3 derivable on pi by 6 comma pi by 3 now f of pi by 6 if you put theta equal to pi by 6 then first row and second row are identical therefore determinant value 0 if you put theta equal to pi by 3 then first row and third row are identical therefore determinant value 0 therefore the conclusion is f of pi by 6 equal to f of pi by 3 equal to 0 so functional values at pi by 6 and pi by 3 are same therefore the function satisfies all the three conditions of Rolle's theorem the function satisfies all the three conditions of Rolle's theorem if the function satisfies all the three conditions of Rolle's theorem compulsory there exist at least one theta belongs to there exist at least one theta belongs to pi by 6 comma pi by 3 such that f dash theta equal to 0 one minute observe at least at one point tangent is parallel to x axis at least at one point tangent is parallel to x axis therefore f dash theta is zero at other point tangent is not parallel to x axis at that point slope is non-zero therefore second statement there exist theta belongs to pi by 6 comma pi by 3 such that such that f dash theta not equal to 0 so at one point compulsory tangent is parallel to x axis therefore f dash theta is 0 at other points f dash theta is non-zero therefore both the statements are correct first statement is true second statement is also true both one and two is the correct answer abhishek the first week of august approximately by august 10th i am going to start engineering mathematics for mechanical engineering on an academy plus next problem the value of c in the mean value theorem f of b minus f of a by
b minus a into f dash of z where ax square plus bx plus c in the interval a comma b it is a polynomial every polynomial is continuous as well as variable therefore a b square plus b b plus c minus a a square minus b a minus c equal to b minus a into f dash of x is 2 a x plus b so 2 a x i plus b to x i plus b now c c cancel a of b square minus a square plus b of b minus a equal to b minus a into 2 a x i plus b now take b minus a common a into b plus a plus b equal to 2xi plus b. Now, a into b plus a equal to 2xi. a a cancel. 2xi equal to b plus a. Therefore, xi equal to b plus a by 2 which belongs to the interval a comma b. So the correct answer is xi equal to b plus a by 2 is the answer. Understood? xi equal to b plus a by 2 The function y is equal to 5x square plus 10x is defined on the interval 1 comma 2. Then at least at one point dy by dx is equal to, observe, it is a polynomial. Therefore, Lagrange's mean value theorem is applicable. At least at one point dy by dx equal to f of 2 minus f of 1 by 2 minus 1. f of 2. 5 into 2 square, 5 4 is 20, 20 plus 20 40, minus f of 1, 5 into 1 square, 5 plus 10, 15, by 2 minus 1, that is 25, at least at one point dy by dx equal to 25, 25 is the correct answer, 25 is the correct answer. Understood? Thank you.